Well, this is a live breaking news. You know, I'll put this out when we do. David, I know, you know, I made a joke video. One person wrote Swift Training Yard, you know. He just tore an $80,000 pickup for a $15,000 freight liner. Oh, man. Right. It went viral. Some guy was brave enough to use. Tell me now, how much is your truck? Are you in the truck right now? I'm in it right now, uh, limping home. Are you serious? I, am I almost home. need you, David, to 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 uh, go out of the truck, show <laughs> the damage of the truck. Can we do uh, that real quick? <laughs> yeah, hold on. I, let me see if I can. Uh, you hear that pop? That pop was my door. Yeah. So since it's facing me, I don't know. I'll, I'll just. Oh. Bro. So, oh, my uh, gosh. Of course, that's not the rim that was on there. And you know. Just down the side. The mirror's all jacked up. Oh, my there. gosh. This, is, this right here is where he bumped me the first time without really crashing into me. And I knew he just bumped it. But, uh, but uh, what, when he backed into that other truck... I knew it was on, and then he came right at me, and then you know, looked up, and then I just hazed him. So, That's crazy, brother. So, you know, dang. So, do we get it right? Uh, like the title is it an eighty-five thousand dollar truck, or how much is it? Hey, yeah, well, with taxes and everything, you're only two thousand dollars off. My gosh. So, David, I know we want to shout out some people. We want to, uh, you know, uh, and we want to say exactly what happened. So tell me, man. So just walk us through it. What happened and what made you want to ram your $87,000 truck <laughs> into this uh, uh, Freightliner? <laughs> well, yeah. So uh, the company there in Bakersfield, Green Globe, uh, right. We have a real, real good. It's a real good culture. You know, a lot, we all kind of work together there. And uh, I uh, helped build another company and we subhauled for them. And so I've been friends with those guys for like seven years. And the mechanic there, Speedy, who I suspect was the one that had that camera angle that you put on YouTube. Uh, I trust him real, you know, and he came in, you could see in his eyes, he said, dude, they're it, you know, and he's he's one of those guys, he'll kid you, you know, a little bit. But when he came in, I knew right away yeah, something was up. And I go, what's going on? He goes, I, I'm on uh, 911. I just called. They're trying to steal a trailer out back. Oh, my, my gosh. There was, there was a truck parked there. And I said, well, let, you know, what, what do you uh, want to do? And I, I said, let's just block them in. And they can't leave. That way the cops will come in and, you know, take care of it. So we had a truck parked kind of there, uh, it already kind of lined up. All he had to do is, uh, he's a Texas guy, a rod there. He, he pulled up and he pulled up to the parked truck. So they're nose to nose and Speedy was taking care of the shop side. But I saw that, you know, there's a little bit of a gap and I kind of wanted to see which way they were going to go. So I backed up into that little gap and those, those two guys, uh, they had disconnected from the trailer that they trying to steal they were trying to steal a, a reefer that's only a couple years old a reefer unit and uh, they came I, I see them coming at me you know in the gap so I I just held my ground and the guy comes you know right in between the two trucks that were nose to nose and grabbing the horn and and you know and it, you know cussing at me get that you know I'll run you over and I just shook my head and I went no and uh, yeah. Then we knew we, you know, it was not be, uh, it, it wasn't going to be a friendly questioning, but that's all we wanted to do was kind of stop them and, you know, hey, what are you doing in here? We, they didn't have the trailer hooked up, so at that point they haven't stolen anything. But then he throws it in reverse, trying to get a different angle, and he slammed into a park, another park, Cascadia, and you know, plastic and uh, fog lights all over the ground. So then he turned around and, and came right at me and he tried to fit between the, the tractor that I was parked alongside. Uh, and, and if you see, 
he kind of came in alongside me. Now the video that you have um, right. shows the where Speedy, the mechanic, was at. He was the one taking the video because he wanted to get pictures of them, you know, their faces, and uh, and the truck, obviously. But see, he was, he, you know, like you said, it's a tight knit community as far as trucking in that area. And he was alerted by another yard that these guys were going in with this truck and stealing trailers, just plucking them right out of the yards. And uh, he saw it and, you know, he just went right to work. And we've had several things, golf carts for the security guy, just come in and drive it right off broad daylight. And so they've got, you know, now they've got an extensive camera system and, you know, it's a really uh, a, a lot better situation, but this is broad daylight on a Friday. So that guy came in, and when he came in, he hit my truck. And when he hit my truck, he hooked up to the bumper. And at that point, I thought, okay, now there's damage to my truck. But then yeah. he kept going, and I didn't want him to leave and get away. I wanted to get his insurance information. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking. But anyway, so I just kind of kept him in the yard, and uh, the Ford versus Freightliner, uh, Ford won. I, well... Maybe that's, I shouldn't say Ford won, but Ford held its ground. <laughs> yeah. Hey, hey, you, you need to send that in for a Ford commercial, man. <laughs> yeah, that would be built Ford tough, huh? But, so, yeah, I don't know. It was just, it was one of those things that, you know, you, as an owner operator and, you know, helping to run a company, the, these, you know, it's bad enough right now the way the market is to make a living. And these guys are just, Reaping. they're just taking all profit you know the cream right off the top and they're using nefarious means to do it and you know and like i said i just felt obligated to protect my friends there at green globe and their equipment and like i said we're like brothers you know we uh i mean this truck alex this truck went on the truck convoy i was in maryland for a month and a half you know trying to get into washington dc and we broke their their blockade that uh, Biden's uh, administration had, you know, they had uh, put dump trucks blocking the off ramps. Well, we went in behind the RVs and this truck got to go in downtown uh, Washington, D.C., flying an American flag. So kind of, you know, th this truck's got some trucking history and now now it's on your show, you know, and it's like, oh, my God. Uh, but, yeah, we've. Uh, I, I was surprised. I was surprised that it went, you know, it, it was so popular and went viral like that, you know. So, you know, it, it turned out that truck was a stolen truck. The guys bailed out and ran on foot. So we were left holding the, you know, of course, the company was very happy to get it. I think it cost a little more than 15000 but I don't know the price on that one. But, uh, yeah, it had been stolen six days earlier in Kern County. And, uh, but the thing is, it continues on two nights ago, two more trucks were stolen out of the same yard, not uh, the trucks were from the same company and uh, they got stolen uh, Wednesday night. So they're back at it again. And so uh, now we're just all, all of us in Bakersfield are going around in that area, just looking for trucks that don't have the, the, you know, their DOT numbers and, you know, that they, things have been taken off because, and reporting it, you know, to the CHP or the, you know, the sheriff's department. But yeah, we were fortunate. They didn't get away with anything. Unfortunately, you know, Big Red here took the brunt of it, but it sounds like uh, they're, the company that, you know, recovered their truck, their, their insurance is going to take care of it because uh, it was a hit and run. But uh yeah, I don't know what I was thinking. I don't know if I'd do it the same way again. <laughs> I'll tell you, man. I'll tell you, man. I just want to say I love you. I appreciate you. Uh, you know, and that's what fellow uh, truckers do, man. So What's going on, Mother Truckers? We got big news here. Mother Trucker, Big Rick Tees, One of a Kind Customs. We're going to be at the Texas Trucking Show June 24th and 5th. Do not miss this for the world. I mean, for all the truck drivers out there, over 15,000 drivers came last year. And I'm telling you, it's free for all of y'all. All you got to do is just hit the links down below and register and you can come just for free. It's out here at the NRG Center in Houston and we're going to have a good time. 
for exhibitors. There's still a couple booths left, so don't miss out on that. And if you want to bring your show truck, it's free to register as well. The Texas Trucking Show, they take care of our drivers. They make pretty much everything free for the driver and just come and enjoy this event. We're going to see you there. Don't miss it June 24th and 5th. Talk in my pockets, just know we ain't running out the way that we stock it If I got it, you got it If I call it, she slide and tell her to mop it Yeah, I got that shit doing